Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NI EBS Home School. I am Naima Akta Tisha, Assistant Teacher Science, Morning Shift of National Ideal English Version School. Today I am going to take class 8 science class based on creative question. Let's start our class. Dear students, you saw lecture number 4 and today I will provide you the SW and the number will uh, is 3 and today our topic is chapter 1 creative question 1 this creative question is from your book and extra creative question 1 this question I will provide you it is not present um, it is not given in your book I have prepared you uh, I have prepared this for you and I will give SW from this extra creative question let's start our class our first question uh, is from our book here um, a grasshopper uh, is given and a magpie or a bird is given and it is uh, this picture is given uh, the picture is p and here it is q our first question is what is classification depending on characteristics of organism are grouped into different tax uh, taxons this stepwise grouping of the living world is known as classification. That means the stepwise grouping of living world is known as classification. Now, number B, what do you mean by classi uh, scientific name? The name of an organism which is given following the rules of ICBN or ICZN is called scientific name or binomial name and what is ICBN International Code of Botanical Nomenclature if we are dealing with a plant then we have to follow ICBN and what is ICZN International Code of Zoological Nomenclature if we are uh, going to uh, name a, any uh, animal then we have to follow ICZN any scientific name consists of two parts genus and species that means any scientific name uh, uh, has two part one is genus and another is species then carolus linnaeus is called the father of taxonomy he introduced this naming system that means this scientific name system is introduced by carolus linnaeus then uh, if we consider the scientific name of rice or um, what is that? Oriza sativa. This portion you have if you write any scientific name in hand you have to uh, give two separate uh, line below the name. This portion is known as genus and this portion name is species. This is genus and this portion is species its scientific name of rice now let's uh, see the third question question number c in which class animal p belongs to explain animal p at first you have to uh, uh, identify uh, under which phylum this is uh, placed animal p is a grasshopper so and uh, if we observe its structure we can easily understand that it uh, it is um, under the class insects and under the phylum arthropoda let's see the answer p belongs to class insecta of phylum arthropoda identifying characteristics of the animals of phylum arthropoda are body is segmented and joint appendages are present Head bears a pair of compound eyes and antenna. Soft body is covered with hard cutaneous ex uh, exoskeleton. Body cavity filled with blood and is known as hemocyl. And these all characteristics are present in grasshopper. That's why all these characteristics are found in the animal pea. Therefore, P belongs to the class Insecta of Phylum Arthropoda. Now, let's see question number D. Explain why these two animals belong to different classes. That means P 
it is uh, under arthropoda phylum and under insecta class and uh, q is under the class avis under the phy uh, phylum chordata why they are in different um, different phylum and different class we have to identify that let's see animal of figure p belongs to class insecta of phylum arthropoda p animal is an invertebrate animal its body is covered with hard cutaneous uh, chitinous exoskeleton a pair of compound eyes and antenna is present in head their body is segmented and with joint appendages body cavity is filled with blood and is known as hemocele they have three pair of legs and many uh, may have wings or not for this reason this animal is placed in class insecta of phylum arthropoda on the other hand q animal belongs to class avis of phylum chordata general characteristics of this class is body covered with feather four limb, uh, limbs usually modified for flying jaws forming a beak the presence of air sac with lung help in flight they are warm blooded bones are light stronger uh, delicate and lack with air cavities so due to the above mentioned characteristics animal p and q are placed in different classes of different phylum in animal kingdom so we have finished our creative question number one and it is from our book now let's see the extra creative question i will uh, provide the question here um, and i will discuss about that but i you have to do this uh, as your sw it is extra creative one from chapter one look there are uh, three pictures are given here first one is uh, these three are from animal kingdom first one is from mammalia uh, class b is from uh, avis class and c is from amphibia class what is sci uh, scientific name of man we know that the scientific name of a man is homo sapiens Number B. State the fe uh, feature of B. B. B is under the class Avis. And normally, what are the characteristic of Avis? Uh, Avis. Their their body is co uh, is covered with feather. They can fly. They have a a air sac. Their bones are light, uh, strong, delicate. They are um, and they are warm blooded. That characteristic you have to write in B. Now number C, find the dissimilar, dissimilarities of class B and C. That means you have to uh, differentiate between B and C. B is avis and C is amphibian. What are the uh, difference between B and C? Normally uh, B, uh, they are warm blooded uh, but uh, C, uh, amphibian are cold blooded. Then uh, B, uh, avis body is covered with feather but uh, in case of um, art, uh, to, uh, in case of uh, amphibia their body uh, is without scale body is smooth and uh, different glands are present then um, you can uh, lie, uh, write uh, b can flies in the sky but c can flies in the sky then number uh, b uh, has uh, their body is uh, their bones are light uh, delicate uh, they are uh, and um, lack of air cavity but uh, such kind of things is not present in amphibian then num uh, number five you can say uh, you can say that in case of amphibia you uh, find the uh, tadpole stays but in case of uh, avis you can't find that kind of stays then uh, um, these are the dissimilarities between these two group and number D among three uh, among three which class is the most developed explain 
Among these three, first one is under mammalia class, uh, number B is Abyss class and number C is amphibian. And uh, among these three, mammalia are the advanced, um, are the most advanced uh, class, mammalia is the most advanced class because first of all, um, in uh, their body is covered with hair but uh, uh, in case of uh, abyss their body is covered with feather and in case of sea their body is covered with and in case of amphibian their body uh, is uh, 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 scale is absent and their body is smooth and different kind of glands are present here and in a uh, uh, Amphibia are cold blooded but B and C are warm blooded that means abyss and mammalia are warm blooded. Then uh, in case of uh, this uh, B and C they lay a egg but uh, in case of um, uh, A they give birth uh, small babies then uh, give birth their offspring. Uh, it is most advanced characteristic and they have uh, they have a mammal gland and uh, they feed their child uh, using that. Then uh, you can differentiate um, uh, in case of amphibia they stay both land and water. In case of uh, abyss they stay both land and air but in case of uh, mammalia they stay only in land. Due to this characteristic now uh, this A that means mammalia group are the most advantageous between these three classes. Now dear students I, uh, I have given uh, I am giving here the SW you have to do extra creative question 1 D as your SW and the, your, uh, this SW number is 3. It is your third SW. Dear students, I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home, stay at home and stay safe. Thank you.